Hi all, Sandra Sherman here from Guitar Versum. You guys ask for more chord melody jazz standards and your wish is my command. So here is a nice little jazz ballad called Moonlight in Vermont. It's not too hard to play and of course I'm going to show everything slowly and in detail. I've also made taps for this song and they are free to download for you on my website. The link is down in the description. So let's start with the full song. Moonlight in Vermont has a classic AABA song form, with the exception of the A parts having just six bars instead of the usual eight bars. All right, I use hybrid picking throughout the song, which means I use my index finger to hold my pick with along with the thumb, and I use my other finger simultaneously. So I hit the string, the bass string with the uh, pick, and use my other fingers for the other string simultaneously. Because this is a uh, ballad, I arpeggiate most of the chords, which means I play, them, play the strings after each other in a very quick way. You can do that with your fingers too. And sometimes I also play them simultaneously, just in a regular way, or arpeggiated. Hear the difference? Arpeggiated is a lot more beautiful, but it's a little hard in the beginning, so feel free to play as you like it. All right, let's start with the first phrase. I have an E6 9 chord starting on the D string, 5th fret, fretting, barring over the to the 5th of the G string, then I have the 6th on the B and the 8th of the E string. Light. Then I bar my middle finger uh, over to the 6th fret of the E string and hit just that note at the 6th string, while everything else keeps on ringing. Then I lift my fingers and play a C minor 7 chord, which is 8th of E, and then a bar chord with the ring finger of uh, over 8, 8, 8, D, G, and B strings. 
try to put your middle finger a little across the ring finger. Okay, so here we have here we have moonlight in ver. Now I slide my index finger from the fifth to the sixth fret, but the fifth fret is not audible. Just the effect of the slide is audible. Moonlight in Vermont. Now I head over to a F minor seven uh, nine chord. This is middle finger on the A string eighth, sixty, and eight and eight of uh, the G and B strings. Eight six eight eight. It's an F minor 9 chord. Okay, now add a little bass line to add a little interest in that. I have the 8th uh, of E string, the 7th of the E string, and the 6th of the E string. Actually, I play that with my middle finger, the index and the index. Then I let it ring and I add the other notes of the chord. And those are the tones, or the six of the, um, what are we, D string, the seventh of the G string, and the eighth of the E string. That's a B flat 13th chord. our first phrase. All right, the second phrase starts exactly the same as the first phrase started with an E flat 6 9 chord. 5 5 6 8. Then the 6 on the E string while everything rings, so bar this again. And now instead of the C minor 7 we had before, we play a C minor add 9. E if it's too hard for you, you can go over to that C minor uh, 7 chord we played before. I just wanted to add a little spice into it and I made a C minor uh, add 9 chord. What I'm doing is I bar over the 8th fret, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8. And on the 12th fret of the D string I use my pinky. Make sure it's not too flat or you will dampen the rest of your strings, okay? So, uh, bend that uh, first part of your finger, of your pinky, so the other strings, the G and the B strings, can ring. And I'm playing the E string, the 12th fret of the uh, D string, and the 8th and 8th of the G and B strings, simultaneously. And then, I played a single note eight on the 8th string of the G string, which is fretted already. I'll let it all ring together. So I have... Okay. So if you can't do that, just play the regular C minor 7 and the 8th fret of the G string. Okay. Then I go over to a D flat 7 flat 5 chord, that is. I use my thumb and I recommend to you to do that too. You could do it like that too. I can't even do that. Okay, thumb on the uh, ninth fret of the E chord. When you play with your thumb, here's a little tip. Don't, don't do this, okay? It's enough to just press it a little. You don't have to bend over totally. Okay, then on the ninth fret of the D string with your middle, the ring finger has the tenth of the uh, G and the eighth of the uh, B for the B string. Ah, uh, the eighth, yeah, for the index finger. But first of all, we just play on up to the uh, G string. So you play pick, middle, and ring finger up to the G string because here's the me first melody note. Then I play the B string alone while everything keeps on ringing. 
and then the D string alone while everything keeps on ringing. Da da da, that's the melody. Okay, so here's the whole second phrase for you. Three, four. Alright, for phrase number three it's mostly chords and we start with the uh, F minor 9 chord we've just had. That's a 8 of A, a string, 6 of D, 8 and 8 of a G and B string. I arpeggiate it. Now I have a F minor 7 which is just lifting your pinky off and fretting the 6th uh, fret with your index that is already there. Okay, So we get this melody, 8 and 6th fret of B string. I don't play the E string, it just looks as if I... I start on, on the A string, okay? I just play the inner 4 strings. But I can't do that, so I fret everything. Then I go over to a B flat 9 sus 4 chord. That's a 6 on the E, 6 on the D, 5th on the G, and 4th of the B. Okay. Then I play that single 5th of the uh, G string while well, everything rings. We're in a ballad style, so we want to keep everything ringing as long as possible. last chord of the A section is an E flat 6 chord. That's you you um, you leave the fourth from the chord before, then we have a 5 on the G, a 5 on the D and a 6 on the A. 6, six 5, 5, uh, 4. E flat 6 that is. Okay. Sorry. Single string. And now I put a little bass line in, fourth string of E, uh, fourth fret of E string, fifth, sixth, and now leave it on. And while you have it on, you add your other tones for the B flat 7 sharp 5 chord. And those are 6D, 7G, 7B. And I then, then I just play those four with my fingers because this was with the pick and now the rest is with the fingers and they ring together. Okay, the whole uh, phrase number three, I think we were. So here's the full A1 section for you. The second A section is pretty simple because it's actually the same as the first with the exception of the last bar. The last bar was an E flat, uh, e flat 6 chord. We have that again. 6A, 5 and 5 for D and G string and 4 of the B string. And you hit it once and then you go through it string by string. So A string, B string, G string, B string. So the last par, uh, bar is three, four, one. So I'm now going to play the whole A2 section for you. One, two, three, four.
phrase number five are the first four bars of the B section. And the B section has a common top note, which in the first four bars, or actually first three bars, is uh, the third fret of the B uh, string. We start with an A minor 11 chord, which is 5 of E, 5 and 5 of D and G, and the mentioned uh, 3 of B. You play the chord with all the tones ringing once, and then you play the B string twice. Sounds like this, three, four. Okay, it's one and two and. Then we change to D7. All you gotta do is you leave the index and your pinky where they are and switch your middle and ring finger. The middle goes to the uh, fourth of D and the ring goes to the fifth of A string. So you have five, four, five, three. That's a D7. And you play that same pattern. You hit the whole chord once, and then you play the B string twice in that same rhythmic rhythm. Okay, I, I repeat from A minor 11. Three, four. Now we do the same thing with a G major. G major 7 chord, which is on the 3rd fret E string, 4th and 4th of uh, D and G strings, and 3rd of B string. And we have the same rhythm. Everything together, and then B string twice, with the pick only. Okay, I'll repeat everything. Now it's for an E7 altered chord. I pick this very unusual voicing actually, but it suits me just fine here. So um, I have a 3, before mentioned 3 on the uh, B string. The 5, that's, the, um, that's a sharp 5 of the E7 chord on the G string, and the 6th of the D string, that's the 3rd of the chord. And I play the low E string because it's an E chord, I can do that. Okay, so zero, six, five, three. Okay, and I play the whole chord, and again the B string twice. Everything up till here, three, four. I repeat the A minor 11 and now the whole thing changes. Instead of this D7 I go up to a D13. I take uh, the D13 here on the 10th fret of the uh, D string, 11th fret of the uh, G string, 12th of B string and I bar over to the 10th of the E string. So I have 10, 11, 12, 10. And I play that once. Then, while this keeps on ringing, I have my pinky on the 13th of the B string. Then I lift it off again, and I play the high E string, where the bar chord on the 10th is still laying, hopefully. Okay, that's the melody. And then I go over to a G major 7 chord. And this is the inner four strings, 10A, 12D, 11G, and 12 of B. I play it once, count to three. One, two, three. And then I change over to a G6 chord, that is. I put my middle finger on the A string of the 10th and my index frets actually bars the 9th fret of the D and G string. And I first play the bass and then those two and they ring together. So I have one, 
two, three, and four. Okay, you count to three. One, two, three, and is the bass, and four are the two middle strings, and everything rings together. And I also keep this tone laying here all the time because that's a melody note, and this is just the filler here. One, two, three, and four. Okay. I'm playing the whole first four bars of the B part for you. So phrase number five, that is. Three, four. Right here's phrase number six, and these are the second four bars of the B section. Now we move the whole thing a half step up. We started at A minor 11, now we start at B flat minor 11. So this is six of E, six, six of D and G, and four of the uh, B string. We have the same pattern going on like before, as we did before. Okay, from B flat minor 11, twice the B string, then we change to F7. This is as we had before, but a half step up. Now we have F7 is 6, 5, 6, 4, and a 4 strings. Once all string, and then twice for the B string. Okay. we change over to the A-flat major chord, same as the G we had before, but one fret up. 4E, 5-5 D and G, and 4B. And again, once the whole chord, and twice the B string. Okay, and then we go to the F7 altered chord, the same as the E, but now, of course, we can't play the low E string. Okay? So I just play those three notes. Those are 4 of B, 6 of G, and 7 of D. 7, 6, 4. Just those three. And I play my, use my pick in the D string and middle and ring finger. I don't play only with, sorry, I don't play with only those three strings alone. So I, I play pick, middle, ring. Okay, if you use your fingers, I recommend using thumb index middle for this okay the whole chord once and the B string twice okay the section up until here from B flat minor 11 you can of course play it like this with your thumb, that's actually better, because then this chord uh, can remain here. Okay, then we play B flat minor 11 again with the two B strings. Then we move up to E flat 13, just as we had the D 13 before. Now one to the right, which is 11 D. 12G, 13B, and the bar finishes at 10E. Okay? The bar chord, I mean. Then I have the 14th of the B string with my pinky while everything keeps on ringing. Then I go back to the E string while still everything keeps on ringing. Those are the melody notes. And I go over to an A flat major 7, just like the G we had before, one up to the right. That's inner four strings, 11, 13, 12, 13. I count to uh, 2, 1, 2, and at 3, I move my middle finger, which is already on the G string, to the 7th fret of the G, 
I put my index on the sixth of the uh, D string. My pinky goes on the eighth of the uh, B string, and my ring finger is on the seventh of the E string. So I have six, seven, eight, seven, and that's actually a B flat thirteen flat nine chord. It's a pretty cool chord to go back to the A section, starting at E flat again. Here would be the root. There is no root in here. All right, so the whole phrase number six is three, four. All right, and here's the full B part. One, two, three, four. Now it's A3 section and that's exactly the same as section A2, so I'm going to play that for you quickly. Three, four. there's a little ending. So if you want to solo, you stop here and repeat everything again and solo over it. And if you come to the end of the song, you add this little ending. That's an original ending. I didn't invent that. So I'll play that for you. Okay, we start on the uh, ninth fret of the D string with your middle finger, then use your ring finger for the 10th fret. Index goes to the next string 8th, and then you bend over to the next 8th. 9, 10, 8, G, 8, B. Then I uh, fret my chord a part of F9, that is. This would be F9, I don't use the um, root. So I start on 7th of uh, the D string with my index and then I bar over the 8 frets of the G, B and E string and I play them simultaneously. Then I stretch my pinky over to the 10th fret, play only of the E string, play only that string while the rest still rings. So the rest of the chord is still ringing. I do the same thing a whole step, a uh, half step down to the left. So I start on six, seven, seven, seven. Pinky goes up two to the uh, where are we? Ninth fret. Play that note once, and then I end up with a uh, E flat six nine chord, which is five D, five G bar, barred and 6B and 6E also barred. Well, you could play it with two fingers too. So the whole thing, the whole ending is three, four, And note that I get slower as soon as I start the F, F9 chord, okay? Slower. What a nice little tune, isn't it?
If you liked my video, please like the video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you don't want to miss out on new stuff, please subscribe my channel. Uh, see you next time. Auf Wiedersehen.